In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use ANSYS Fluent and Workbench to model fluid cavitation in a pump to predict a drop curve. I will start the demonstration by describing some of the fluid flow simulation settings. Then I will show you how to set up a multi-phase model. Finally, I will use Workbench to add design points and then plot the calculated data, producing a drop curve. In preparation for this demonstration, I set up an incompressible fluid flow simulation and solved the flow field for a single blade passage. To accomplish this, the inlet boundary condition was set as a pressure inlet with a gauge total pressure of 60,000 pascals. This value was defined as an input parameter which will be varied using ANSYS Workbench. The outlet, in this case, is a mass flow outlet. Within the blade passage, three mesh interfaces were defined. The first two describe the interface at the end block and passage, respectively. The last interface is a rotational periodic interface, which is displayed here. As well, I already set the head and the net positive suction head as output parameters. Here is the expression defining the head. Likewise, here is the expression describing the net positive suction head. Now I can define the multi-phase model. For a case like this, the mixture model is sufficient. The mixture model can be used to model homogeneous multi-phase flows with very strong coupling and phases moving at the same velocity. With the multi-phase model selected, Options describing each phase are now available. I will set my primary phase as liquid water. The secondary phase is already described by water vapor. Now I can describe the cavitation mechanism as a phase interaction. Water, phase 1, will be converted into water vapor, phase 2, in this interaction. Finally, I will set the mechanism to cavitation and pick a model. In this case, the zwart gerber belemery model is appropriate. I will change the vaporization pressure to 3,574 pascals. The formed bubbles will have a diameter of 2 micrometers. With the multi-phase mixture model set up, options describing the concentration of each component passing through the inlet and the outlet boundary conditions are now available. At the inlet, liquid water or water vapor can enter. I can set a volume fraction that defines the concentration of the second phase entering here. In this case, only liquid water will be entering the inlet. I can also control the amount of each phase exiting at the outlet. I will assume that exclusively liquid water is exiting here. Now I can close Fluent and use Workbench to create some design points. In the Parameters tab, I can create design points by simply adding total inlet pressure values. When I select Update All Design Points, simulations are sequentially submitted to and solved by the Fluent Solver. At this point, the parameter set has updated. Values of the output variables are displayed here. To visualize the drop curve, I'm going to plot the head as a function of the net positive suction head. Interesting. Let's see how the head varies with respect to the inlet total pressure. Both of those curves show a distinct drop in the head produced by the impeller due to cavitation. This concludes this demonstration, showing you how to model cavitation in ANSYS Fluent and how to use Workbench to prepare a drop curve.